हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन वंस अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द स्विफ्ट सीरीज सो इन टुडे लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कैप्चर लिस्ट सो इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ वी कैन कैप्चर द वैल्यूज विद द हेल्प ऑफ द नेस्टेड फंक्शन और अ क्लोजर आई हैव आल्सो क्रिएटेड सम लेक्चर्स ऑन द क्लोजर्स एंड आई गिवन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो फ्रेंड इफ यू डिड नॉट वॉच माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ऑफ द क्लोजर यू कैन चेक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स so in today lecture we will discuss capturing list so capturing list so by definition of the apple capture list by default a closure expression capture constant and variables from its surrounding scope with strong reference to those values so friend you can check in the apple document the definition of the capture list so capture list capture the constant and variable from its surrounding scope with strong reference to those values you can use capture list to explicitly control how values are captured in a closure so suppose here is the example of the capture list given so we can implement the same example or take another example also so i am taking the same example here so i am copying here and here we can check the value of the a is equal to 0 and the value of the variable b is equal to 0 and here we are using the capture list so capture list is just a array of the elements we can take the more than two elements in the capture list and separated by commas so here you can also read the capture list a capture list is written as a comma separated list of expressions surrounded by square bracket before the list of parameters if we use the capture list you must use in keyword even if you omit the parameter name parameter type and return type so here is the definition of the capture list so according to capture list definition so capture list is a surrounded by square bracket and all the element of the square bracket is separated by comma and we you must use entries in the capture list are initialized when closure is created so we try to run in the example suppose here i am taking a closure and here i am adding the capture list a b and here in is the keyword it is the must in the capture list if we try to run this application so after running the application we check the result here so the a and b value is 0 and 0 so here you can check the initial value of the a and b is 0 and here we are adding these two value in the capture list so after adding in capture list we are printing here and here before calling this closure we are reinitialize the value so before calling this closure we again adding the value of a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 10 so we can check here suppose i am deleting b from here and run it now then check what will be the output for it so here you can check the difference when i am adding the b is here the value of the a and b both is equal to 10 but i am removing b from here then the value of the b is equal to 10 and the value of a is equal to 0 so suppose here i am taking the value of b so now what will be the result so now the value of the a is equal to 10 and the value of the b is equal to 0 so you can check now the value of the a is equal to 10 and the value of the b is equal to 0 because b is capturing value from the variable b is here so we can check the class example here also so here is a class and we are taking the another example of the class here suppose we are copying this example here and i will implement the so i am commenting this code and i am running this code here here is the class so closure is a reference type so here we are taking the class so class is a reference type also so here we are taking a simple class and the variable of the simple class value is equal to 0 here we are taking x is the object class and here variable y is the object of the class and here we are taking a closure and and in the capture list we are taking x 
x as argument so now i am trying here x dot value so value is the property of the class and x is the object of the class so we can access the value with the class object so here we are adding x dot value and here we are adding y dot value so x dot value we are adding here 10 and y dot value is equal to 10 so now i am running the closer so according to this example the value of the x and y what should be so here you can check the value of the x is equal to 10 and the y is equal to 10 so here we are capturing the value of the x but class is a reference type so we are actually changing the reference uh, so we are actually changing the value variable of the y as a address so when we are adding that new value so the value x dot value is now changing into the 10 suppose here i am taking the structure so here is the class so i am taking here the struct so i have also created the lecture on the struct and class and what is the difference between structure and class and given the link in the description box so you can check in the description box what is the differences between the structure and class so in detailing we will not discuss here but now i will try to run it i just change this class into the struct so now i will check yeah so now here we can check the value of the x dot value we are changing here 10 we are capturing the x here so x dot value will not be changed if we assigning a new value here so it's the new copy into the memory but we are not changing the previous value of the x dot values so it will be the unchanged if you try to assigning the new value into the x dot value but the y dot value we are not capturing here so y dot value is equal to so it's the object of the class same class so here y dot value is equal to zero but when we are assigning the new value into it so the previous value will be changed because we are not capturing it here so if the value is capturing here in the stuck case so the value will not be changed if you try the same example with the class so the capturing will not be work after assigning the new value it will be stored in the same address so it will change the value so here is a class and if you try to it again so now the value will be 10 and 10 yeah so you can check here the value is now changing because we are taking the class here so in the class case we are and it is storing the same address so here changing the value here so here value is changing i think it will be the helpful so like this we can use the capturing list in the closer so i think it will be helpful thanks for the watching